Hello everyone, welcome to another Cyan Orange review. In this video, we're going to take a look at one of the courses of WinFox, the emerging Chinese online education platform for artists. Before we start, we wanted you guys to know that WinFox was very generous and allowed us to check out their course, Level Up Your Digital Painting Skills, Beginner to Advanced, free of charge for this review. Yep, it's a promo video, but hey, we'll do our best to be honest here. Now then, let's take a closer look at what this course has to offer and provide our sincere opinion. Before we begin, let's take a look at who the teacher of this course was. Here's a brief introduction of who he is. Yu Ying, or Fishman, is a Malaysian senior concept artist, and from what we saw from his portfolio on ArtStation, he is an artist of remarkable skill. Many of his art pieces show great understanding of composition, lighting, human anatomy, and other fundamental skills. Also, for those of you wondering which software he uses in this course, he mainly uses Photoshop. So keep in mind that you will learn a lot from this course if you also use this software. The course currently has 60 video lessons with the promise of more to come. Additionally, the course has project files which you can download and keep forever. You heard it right, forever. In the project files, you can find the artist's brushes, reference pictures, and PSD files. All the video content has to be played using their platform though. You cannot download any of the videos, but the course is a lifetime purchase, so you don't have to worry about time limits. Uh, just about your internet, probably. So, watch it at home, guys. Videos can drain your mobile data. First, let's take a look at the brushes. Yu Ying organizes his brushes in a very peculiar way, and he is using a Mac computer. When we opened the brushes, we were met with a huge library of them, and it was kind of hard to browse through it. From what we saw in the first chapter of the course, he had a brush library organized so that you can properly see it as long as you have the large thumbnail brush view. In our case, we didn't think it was a very efficient way to have your brushes arranged. We want you to keep in mind that we are using Photoshop on Windows, not on Mac, and the new Photoshop in Windows allows you to arrange your brushes in folders. So we did that. However, this took us a long time because he has a lot of brushes. I mean, a lot. Even though we have said in the past that too many brushes can be a bad thing, used brushes are so well organized that just the brushes are well worth the price of this course. Just picturing all the time he spent building this library gives us an idea of the value these brushes have. Now let's move on to PSD files. Each lesson or chapter comes with a number of PSD files that complement the videos. Almost all the PSD files have each separate layer. However, not all the PSD files had each individual layer as shown in the video. Some files had a flattened layer that was not very useful. It is nice to have the PSD files with all the layers to take a closer look at the artist's process, but unfortunately, there wasn't a single layer or group named. We understand that naming each individual layer can be tedious, but naming groups with each stage like sketch or color phase could be more helpful. This is something we do in our PSD files for Patreon. We got this idea from other professional artists, and in general, it keeps files well organized and easy to read. Generally speaking, all the PSD files are a great complement to the video lessons. For example, it is a great exercise to watch the video while you have the PSD file open. That way you can check each individual layer that he's working on. Last but not least, the course comes with a reference library that the artists use in each individual lesson. Not much to review here, these are just reference pictures of various subjects he covers in the tutorial. The first chapter of the course is essential for beginners. Yu Ying shows us his working place covering everything from his brushes and tools to his reference library and actual physical working studio. If you already know the basics, you can skip this chapter. The juicy stuff for advanced artists starts from chapter 2. Both beginners and advanced artists will really start to learn from this point onward. Chapter 2 concentrates mostly on environments. Yu Ying gives us a series of demos showing us how he uses his brushes to paint different kinds of environments, ranging from forest scenarios to sky sceneries. We really liked that he includes both the full time-lapse demo of the painting and the lesson version where he explains his techniques and skills. In Chapter 3, you will learn the technical skills any good matte painter and concept artist needs to know. Here, Yu Ying shows us how he implements the use of photos, filters, and adjustment layers to get beautiful results. If you're not very familiar with each blending mode Photoshop has, and how to use them, then this lesson will be very valuable to you. In general, it's a very useful chapter that teaches you to master the art of photo bashing. 
we recommend this lesson especially to concept artists. As the title implies, this chapter focuses on a demonstration on how the artist creates a Sword Woman illustration from scratch. Yu Ying combines both photo bashing and painting skills in this lesson, and shows us step by step on how he starts up from photo references and ends up painting small details. Mostly in this chapter, you'll review what he talked about in previous lessons. Here we have another demo chapter. Much like the previous one, Yu Ying shows us his process of mixing his photo bashing and painting skills. In this case, the topic is focused on a mage woman, and as magic can be very diverse, he includes the various types of magic visual effects, water, fire, and lightning. Yu Ying shows in independent lessons on how to properly portray each element and how to solve it so it looks photorealistic. Last but not least, he shows us how he solves hair and fur materials, concentrating mostly on fur. Finally, there is a new lesson he is working on that is still labeled as Chapter 5, but we did notice it was referred to as New Lesson in the Video. Yes, this course is still not complete. It is updating with new videos, so more content will likely be available in the course by the time you are watching this video. Okay, let's briefly tell you what's in the new lesson he is working on. First of all, he surprisingly takes a break in all the technique information bomb of earlier lessons and talks about a very crucial foundation skill, composition. This is a very valuable lesson that we think should have been at the beginning of the course. But hey, better late than never, and here Ewing talks about the various types of compositions artists can use. Then comes another demo, but this time, it is a full painting demo. No photo bashing and no photo materials like in the previous session. Just simple and beautiful painting. First, he starts with how he sketches, utilizing different posing 3D tools and real ones at his disposal. Then, in the last lessons, he moves on to painting. This illustration process is not yet complete at the time we are reviewing this course. So as we mentioned before, keep in mind that this course is still updating. You must all be wondering then. Hey, what gives? You telling me it's not complete? Why would I want to buy an incomplete course, huh? Well, the answer is simple. Price. True, the course right now is not complete, but it's at half the price right now because of that. And, once it is complete, the price will increase to its true cost. But, if you bought it before that, you get all the juicy content for half the price you already paid. Think of it as a pre-order discount of sorts. So for those of you who don't feel like watching the full video, here is a summary section of what we thought of the course in both pros and cons. Let's begin. No time limit to check all the videos of the course. That's right, they stay forever in your sweet library. Video quality is excellent. That's right, the fidelity is great, allowing you to see all the tools and interface with no problem. It includes a very impressive brush library that any artist would want. As we mentioned before, this brush library Yu Ying has is very juicy. It's a must have. It includes full demo videos of the whole creation process. Yeah, if you have the patience to watch demo videos, then get this course. Very good price for its content. Right now, the price is amazing. That is, if you get it at the cost of the incomplete course. Once it's completed, it will rise up to about 100 US dollars. So, great deal if you get it now before it's completed. It's a very good course for those who want to learn how to use Photoshop in the concept art industry. If you want to know how to do matte painting, learn blending modes, etc., this course will be very helpful. The English pronunciation is good. Usually tutorials on YouTube and other platforms can become a real nightmare to follow just over the bad pronunciation of who is speaking. It is not perfect, but it's decent enough. It doesn't open an Opera browser. Yeah, we kind of mostly use that browser. And it didn't work. We had to move to Google Chrome in order to watch the videos. We hope they fix this in the future. The organization of the project files is really confusing. One of the things we didn't like at first was how the files you can download are labeled. The zip name is fine, but once you delve deeper into the folders, there are some files that were hard to find. Some PSD files don't include all the layers the artist used, for example. Just a flat layer. That is not very useful. The videos are not well organized in the platform. We noticed this problem in chapter 3 and 4. Some are not labeled correctly at the start of the video as well. At last, we reached the end of this video review. So, do we recommend this course? Yes, we do. Especially now for half price. In conclusion, we enjoyed this course. 
It is definitely a good course for those who want to improve their skills as a concept artist. You will mostly learn from this course how to use tools, brushes, and other techniques evolving around Photoshop. Yu Ying doesn't delve too much into foundational skills, so don't expect to learn anatomy, color, or light in this course. He, however, touches briefly on the composition subject, which is both rare and valuable. And his brushes library is one of the things we appreciated most out of this course. <laughs> oh yeah, give us those juicy, well-organized brushes, baby. So with nothing else to add, thank you all for watching. We will leave a discount code and the link in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked our content and want to see more. See you all in the next video.